Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the trading post and more specifically we are going to go into details about this brand new feature which is coming to the game in 10.0.5 and it is absolutely awesome but before we jump into all the details about the trading post I just want to shout out my Twitch twitch.tv slash mrgm if you want to see me streaming Dragonflight, Rathich and Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft I'm over on twitch.tv slash mrgm every single day. Right, so yes, the trading post is here and it's been announced and the PTR is finally up so we can take our very first look at this awesome new feature. So let's start off by talking about what is the trading post. So the trading post is a brand new system coming to the game in patch 10.0.5 of Dragonflight. In this system, you can obtain cosmetics such as mounts and transmogs and all sorts of items uh, just by simply playing the game and doing various different activities. There's a brand new currency involved called the Trader's Tender. You get 500 of that by default by being subbed to the game and then you get another 500 for doing activities in the game. So there's going to be two locations for the trading post in game. There's going to be one in Stormwind uh, over by the Stockades and one in Ogrima by the Valley of Strength. If you've noticed these two locations before, this is where the mysterious stables were located and have been located for a very long time. So finally, these are the reason for these stables to exist. And yeah, there's a good reason for it. So let's jump in game and take a look at the trading post. What's new? What's going on here? So we are here in Ogrima, as you can see, and this is the new area. Now, there is a lot of people on this PTR right now, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, but you can see that the stables here are now populated by the Celestial Steed and a brand new mount model through the trading post. There is a ton of new mounts and collect and all sorts of things that are coming in the trading post that have already been data mined and no doubt there's going to be more as we continue on. So let's go over the actual functionality of the trading post. So as mentioned you get 500 of the currency each month simply from opening the collector's cache. Now the collector's cache is just here by the tent in Ogrima and in Stormwind it is right next to the tent as well. So you just got to go there every single month that you are subbed and pick up 500 traders tender which is the currency. Now the other way as mentioned to get more of this currency is through playing the game. So if you open the adventure guide you're now going to have this brand new section called the traveler's log and this is where the fun happens. So as you can see at the top there is a percentage bar which goes all the way up to 100 and at 100% you're actually going to gain this mount which is a yellow version of that mount and you're going to have different mounts and cosmetics and things to get every single month once you raise this bar to 100. But also along the way you're going to get traveler's tender as you can see so you're going to get 500 of that in total with 100 at each of the different milestones uh, and that is just per month. So with the cash and the adventure guide you can gain 1000 traders tender per month and that's it. That's literally your entire month uh, and that is account wide. So you could do it on like one or two characters or whatever. You st it's going to be account wide. So this is a really cool kind of system that is actually legitimately account wide which is good to see. So the activities are pretty cool actually. Uh, obviously this is the first build of the PTR that's public so no doubt these will change over time. But as you can see on the all list there's a lot. There is a lot of different stuff you can do and it ranges from every type of gameplay. Uh, you can see like Dragonflight specific stuff. So you've got like completely optional Waking Shore storylines. You've got beat the, the Dragon Tamers. You've got Dragonflight raid bosses. You can actually track these as well like you would a quest, which is really cool. You can track a few of those if you like. Uh, so you've got complete the weekly gathering quests. You've got all sorts of different things like that, which is so, so cool. So this is all specifically like Dragonflight stuff. Then you've got specific dungeon stuff like defeat 25 raid bosses, which could be any raid bosses. Like if you go and do like a, you know, an old raid for Transmog or whatever, that's done. Or 50 Mythic Plus dungeons. But for some reason, Love is in the Air is on here, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, and then you've got complete five dungeons in a cross factory group. You've even got things like pet battles. So win 15 pet battles, use the pet happy snacks. Profession stuff like fulfill public crafting orders, do a crafting order, harpoon a fish with a friend. Like all different fun little activities in the game. Essentially playing the game, right? And and as mentioned, this is just, there's so many different things for so many different people, which is just excellent, honestly. So you've got PvP as well, so you've got 7,500 honor, win some battlegrounds, do all sorts of things like that. Even special things. So if you aren't a PvPer or you're a pve -er or a pet battler, you can just, you know, hug a dead player. Yep. That's one of the options. You can go and hug a dead player or you can resurrect a player or show some love to the dragons, you know, emote slash love at two of the specific fallen dragons. Yeah, Anixia, Malagos, Syndragosa, Deathwing. Show some love to the trading post. All stuff like that. And that is all things that you can do to gain uh, percentage on your bar here. And you don't have to do them all as like that's the best part of it, right? 15% for that. 
and it's 100% in total. So there's only a handful of things you need to do, and you have an entire month to do them to gain your trader's tender. Just a really nice passive thing uh, for players to do, to get them out in the world, to get them doing different activities if you want. Uh, and again, this is completely optional. It's all cosmetic, so you don't have to do it if you don't want to, and that's the fun part of it all. So that's pretty much an overview of the trader's tender and how you gain it and things like that. Now let's talk about spending the trader's tender. So... You have this, the trading post, and it says, let's see what we have to offer this month. So, this rotates every single month. This will rotate every single month. There's a bunch of items on here with different amounts uh, of Trader's Tender. As you can see, I've hit the 1,000 mark right now, uh, and some of these are 900, 750, 650. So, you're not going to buy all of them each month, but you will buy some of them. Uh, for example, if I wanted to buy this, I could buy that right now. Uh, the, one of the cooler features I really like about this as well, as I said, it does rotate every month. If you really like something, like if you really liked this ensemble, you can drag it into the freeze option and that will freeze it for the next month. So if you don't have the currency for it, but you really want to get it, you can get it the next month, which is really nice. Uh, especially something like the Celestial Steed, for example, which is 900 uh, of the Trader's Tender. They did say as well that current store mounts will be popping up on this as well, as well as brand new items and unused appearances. Uh, so for example, like this Fury of the Fire Lord, look at this. Look at that, that is incredible. And obviously as a drag there, you can look at it from uh, from both. But even when you mouse over it, it'll tell you like, you know, this is a one-handed mace. Uh, this is a pet. You can see the pet right there. You've got the ensemble here for the pirate outfit. You've got all sorts of weird and wonderful like daggers and bows and different ensembles and stuff that's brand new. As said, like a lot of this stuff is brand new stuff and this is gonna be updated every single month, which is just fantastic and super, super exciting to see what they're actually gonna be adding to this. As you can see as well, all of these rewards are account wide. So if I bought the bow on this character, I could send it to a hunter to learn it uh, so I can collect that appearance. That's not a problem at all. Uh, so yeah, that's really just great, honestly. And this is the first build and I'm super impressed with how finished all of this looks like I'm, you know, it's got the animations, it's got all the different bits and pieces that it needs already and which makes me think that this has been in the works for quite a while now which is so great honestly i'm just super hyped up and super excited for the trading post i just think it's such a great and wonderful idea for the game it's just so exciting and i can't wait for it to go live with patch 10.0.5 one minor thing before we wrap up the video as well i just want to point out and this is just super minor but i really like it uh, there's also like little mannequins around just showing off the item which is cool so you can see like the ensemble here you can see the staff that's available you can see the one-handed with the flail uh, all of that stuff is around and as mentioned like you've got the uh, celestial steed over here and this mount obviously so these are going to rotate as the rewards rotate as well so yeah it's kind of hard to see right now because there's so many people around as you can see like people are hyped up uh, for ptr adventures but yeah uh, really cool to see like the items on show you know when you just want to walk past or just have a look at what things look like on a specific character but you know if you do want to look at it you can just still just go to this npc and just, uh, you know, click it and whatnot, which is really nice. So yeah, even options to hide the player, to, you know, hide your armor as well, which is cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. As said, it's really impressively complete and that's interesting. So guys, that's pretty much it. That is the Traders Post. That is a full overview of the brand new system coming in patch 10.0.5. Super excited for this. Let me know down below what you think of the Traders Post. Is this a system you're going to be using? Is this a system you don't really care about? I'm really interested to see what is coming with this. There's so many different data mined things with this that aren't really appearing on the PTR just yet. So there's going to be so many cool rewards coming over the next couple of months from this. And uh, I'm going to be here to cover it. So yeah, there you go. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, PTR, Wrath of King Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.